Hello everybody, this is Chinoa with A Crafty Mess and I'm here with another tutorial. If you'd like to learn how I make these earrings, then stay tuned. Pretty much the rest of the video, I'm going to speed it up just a bit. I know that you guys don't want to sit around for a whole 20-30 minute tutorial. So what I did is I printed out my images. I'm going to go ahead and load them onto my Cricut uh, mat and put it into my Cricut machine to be cut out. It's going to cut out the printed images and then I'm going to unload the mat, reload it again, and it'll cut out just below those registration marks, those in-between layers that I need. So now that that's done, I'm peeling everything off of my mat and I'm going to get my favorite glue, which is my art glitter glue, and we're going to start adhering these, la these layers together. Now, make sure when you're pulling your cardstock off of your map that you're paying special attention so that you are not flipping over your in-between layers. If they get flipped over, then it could really mess you up while you're in the gluing process. So I'm just adhering these layers together, doing my best to run my fingers around the whole um, earring and make sure that everything is in place and lined up properly. And then once that's done, we're going to take the UV resin and we're going to smear it all over the top. So we're just getting these last little bit of layers done. And then next will be time for the UV resin. So I got my UV resin from Wish several months ago. I only got this small little 15 gram bottle. Not a whole lot in there, but it's been more than efficient so far. But now that I think I'm going to be doing more of these keychains and earrings using resin, then I'm going to definitely look forward to my delivery that should be coming in a couple days. I just bought a much bigger bottle. I also went ahead and ordered from Amazon this UV lamp. So this UV lamp will double as not only a lamp for curing my little jewelry and keychains and such, but it will also work as a nice little UV lamp for when my daughter and I decide that we want to do some little cute gel manicures. Okay, so it's been exactly about 23 minutes um, from the time I put them into the lamp. I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. And let's go see what they look like. You can see it's super, super shiny. I'm touching. It's no longer tacky. So, this is the reflection from the lamp. So it has the same finish that you would get with an epoxy. But it only took us 20 minutes to cure. Okay, let's check the other one. Same thing. It's no longer tacky. You'll know if you need to cure it longer because it'll still be like sticky. So this is the reflection. And this is what it is compared to the unfinished side. This is what it looked like before we put the UV resin on it. And then this is what it looks like with the UV resin. So I'm just smoothing the camera around so I can get all the different angles so you can see the difference between the two. And then I'm also going to go ahead and bring over one of our keychains. So if you watched my first video doing the keychains, I used triple thick to seal so that's what it looks like in the light it's still shiny but it's different from this which is more like an acrylic glass like finish 
So this is what it is side by side. So you can see the difference. Okay, so now it's time for us to go ahead and put the resin on the back side of the earring. So again, removing the top off of that little 15 milliliter or gram, whatever it is, bottle. I'm just pumping a little bit out and then using a stir stick, I'm smearing the UV resin all over the back of the earring. So I'm going to do this to both of the earrings, paying special attention to try and make sure that I'm not getting any resin inside of the hole. It's kind of hard because these earrings are much smaller than the keychains, but I'll do my best. And then I'm doing this for both of the back sides of these earrings, and we'll go ahead and put these in the UV lamp so that they can cure for uh, 15 to 20 minutes like we did with the front side. So now that both sides have cured completely, I'm going to take this bead reamer that I have from my previous days of jewelry making and ensure that both of the earrings have a clear passage through the little hole and that the UV resin isn't blocking that. So on one of the earrings, I did have to file through it a little bit to make sure that it could get through. So then for each earring, you have one jump ring and then you have the earring facet. So I'm gonna take the jump ring, open it up, put it through the earring, and then you take the jump ring and put it through the bottom of the earring, earring fastening and then close everything up. So I'm going to do this for both earrings and make sure that you kind of overlap it a little bit so that the earring doesn't fall apart, especially if you're going to be giving them away. You don't want them to fall apart. Um, people aren't going to be staring at them all hard and, and making sure that everything is lined up perfectly. They'd be more concerned about having earrings that are going to look good and last. So again, I'm just fastening the hardware for each of these earrings and then we're almost done. I can't believe how good these turned out. I really am pleased with the UV resin. I think that this is the new method I'll be using from now on. So happy that you guys joined me for this tutorial. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell for the next video. If you've been here before, I want to thank you for coming back. I appreciate you. Make sure you hit the like button and leave a comment below. Till next time, thank you everybody.